I've been thinking a lot about how embarrassed I am to say what my dreams and goals are and how I don't say them aloud ever because I'm so embarrassed by them. And I hate that. I hate that a lot. Um, recently, I've just kind of discovered exactly what my goals are, but I've kept them pretty much in my head because I'm so nervous that people are going to laugh or even laugh in their heads. I don't even want anybody thinking that I can't do what my dreams are. So I just don't want to tell anybody them because then nobody will tell me that I can't do them. Does, you know, that makes sense, right? And I'm, I mean, I feel like this is a common thing. Uh, when I was a dancer, I didn't really say that I wanted to be a ballerina until I like got into a professional program. <laughs> and then I was like, oh yeah, I want to be a ballerina because then it was like I was already kind of there, you know, I was already kind of doing it. Whereas right now, I want to be like a host comedian. Wow, I just said it. <laughs> um, and I want to basically more or less be a comedian um, that also hosts things like TV shows and, and etc. Um, and I'm so far away from that that it feels very strange to say and to believe. And I think because I don't say it, I don't believe it. If I don't say it out loud, how am I ever going to like think that that's going to happen to me one day, you know? Um, and yeah, I've just very recently, um, have pinpointed that that's what I want and I'm excited and very nervous uh, because I don't know how to how to get there yet you know and that's why it's so nerve-wracking to talk about because I'm not really sure what I'm doing and it's all about building up my comedy first I, I want to get into improv classes I want to start doing stand-up which is just scary to stay because I'm I get very anxious uh, performing I always did even as a dancer it was I always felt like I was gonna die like the second before getting on stage I wanted, I wanted to quit everything and back down. Like that was my headspace. And the second I got on stage, it was gone. And I just know that I have to take these risks or I'm never going to get anywhere. And I believe that I can get somewhere with who I am and what I want to do. And it's not going to be easy. And I have to stop pretending like things are gonna fall into my lap, they aren't. And I have to be way more proactive, which I haven't been. So, that's where I'm at in my head. Do you guys have goals and dreams? I'm assuming yes. If you have a, a big goal and a big dream, I want you to one, comment below. Because <laughs> I want to read about what you guys want to be. And two, I want you to say it out loud to somebody that you trust. Like a best friend, or a significant other, or a family member, somebody. Just say it out loud to somebody if you haven't yet. And then just start believing it. Or say it out loud to yourself. Literally just me saying, I want to be a comedian. And not having to explain that because the situation that I've been in is I've maybe said that before and said yeah I, I, I think I uh, want to be like a comedian one day you know like I maybe one day I know I'm, I'm not you know I, I'm not that funny right now but like I swear to god I'm funny it's like I go on this tangent that's basically proving myself wrong 
It's like, yeah, I want to be a comedian, but here's all the factors of like why I'm very unsure about that, which isn't cool. And that obviously doesn't instill into other people's minds that I'm ever going to be a comedian one day. I already sound self-deprecating, which isn't helpful. So, yeah. So just say, keep saying it out loud to yourself and stop making excuses. Okay, I'm gonna go. Love you guys. Talk to you later.